How and when to use git stash. Git stash is a useful command when you want to save new code you just added and use it later, but this code is not ready to be committed and we don't want to delete it. Let's go over two example scenarios in which you could use git stash. One, you're writing a new code which is not ready to be committed yet, but you need to urgently switch to another branch. Instead of deleting this code or committing unfinished code, you can just stash it. Two, you wrote some new code, you're not happy with it, but you don't want to just delete it. With git stash, you can stash the new code and maybe use it in the future. Okay, now let's see real examples for scenarios one and two. For scenario number one, we need to switch urgently to another branch. So let's create a branch to work on. git checkout hyphen v branch one. And we'll add some new code. Function, um, function for branch one. And this code is not ready yet for commit. And oh, oh, we just got notified that we need to review a pull request of one of our colleagues. So we would switch to our repository and in the pull request, we see the pull request of our colleague. We'll go into the pull request and look at the files changed. And well, I'm not really managing to get the whole idea of the code just from the pull request. So I want to see the code on my IDE. So I will go to my IDE. In this case, that's VS code. And I want to check out to my colleagues branch, git checkout branch two, but we get an error. Your local changes to the following files would be overwritten by checkout. So what can we do? We can use git stash. So we'll go ahead and stash it, git stash. What we just did was moving the code into a stash, which is like a stack. It's last in, first out. Now we can safely check out to our colleagues branch, git checkout branch two. Let's clear the terminal and I can see my colleagues code and well, it looks great, looks, makes sense. So I can go to their pull request and approve it. But now I want to go back to my branch. So we'll go back to our branch, git checkout branch one. And now I want to pop from the stash to get back my code, git stash pop. Well, here it is, great. Now let's see an example for scenario number two. We wrote some new code, we're not happy with it, but we don't want to just delete it. So we'll have our code and we just want to copy the function name and mm, let's say implement implementation number one. And well, I'm not really happy with it. So I can stash it, git stash. And now I want to rewrite the code of the same function, but in a different way. So function um, try number two and well, that's okay, but I'm not completely sure. So git stash again. I can look at the list of the code that I've stashed so far, git stash list. And you see I have two elements in my stash, which is like a stack, as we said. The latest code, latest code we just stashed is over here, number zero. And the one before that is number one. And okay, last time I'll try to rewrite the code and try number three. And I'm not sure again, so I'll use git stash. Okay, so if I'm looking at the stash right now, git stash list, I have three elements in it. And well, for sure, I know that I do not want to use the this element and I just want to remove this element from my stash. For that, I can use git stash drop and I'll copy and don't forget to put it under quotes and git stash drop. Now, if you look at our stash again, we only have two elements. That's number three with the index zero and that's number one, the try number three and try number one. And let's say now I don't want to use the latest code that I stashed like in our example 
for scenario number one. So what I can do is pop a specific index for that. I'll copy the index and then git stash pop in quotes and the specific index. And as we can see, this is the try or implementation number one. Great, so this is the code that I want to continue working on and eventually commit it. But what I've stashed so far, I don't need it anymore. So for that, I can just clear the whole stash. For that, git stash clear. Now let's look at our stash and it's clean. That's it. Thank you so much. And if you enjoyed this video and learned, please like it and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.